reclassification of Pluto as a dwarf planet in 2006 caused a lot of debate. Pluto is small in size, but not in importance. On July 14, 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft made its historic flight through Pluto, transforming our understanding of this mysterious world on the solar system's outer frontier. Pluto is smaller than Earth's moon, and has the same surface area as Russia. This fascinating world has blue skies and high icy mountains. Pluto, like Earth, experiences snowfalls, but the snow is red, made of methane. What would it be like to spend a day on Pluto? Pluto orbits the Sun from 5.8 billion kilometers away, about 40 times as far as Earth. A day on Pluto lasts 143 hours, or about 6 Earth days. Therefore, you'll have enough time to explore the dwarf planet if you spend a day here. Sending messages to home from Pluto would be difficult. It would take anything between 4 to 7 hours for your messages to reach home. Pluto travels along a highly elliptical orbit. However, no matter where it is in its orbit, the temperatures on Pluto would be freezing. Temperatures on Pluto can reach as low as minus 233 degrees Celsius. Apart from blue skies, you would also see Pluto's largest moon, Charon, in the sky. Charon would appear much bigger than the moon appears on the surface of Earth. The other four moons of Pluto would also be visible in the night sky, if they reflect sufficient light coming from the sun. Exploring the entire surface of Pluto in a day wouldn't be feasible. An advantage of living on Pluto would be the very low gravity on its surface. You'd only weigh around 4.5 kilograms on Pluto, which would prevent you from getting tired easily. Because of its distance, the sun would appear very tiny in Pluto's day sky, about the same size of Jupiter as seen from Earth. However, it would be much brighter. Pluto's surface is covered with nitrogen ice. The famous heart-shaped glacier on Pluto would be a great spot to visit during your one-day trip. Spending a day on Pluto would be an adventurous task. It would be freezing cold there, and there would be no protection against cosmic radiation, and other dangers like geysers or volcanoes. If you manage to survive a day on this tiny little dwarf planet, you'll have one hell of a story to tell when you return back to Earth.